How's it going, everybody? I'm Danny D. This is Seven Deadly Bananas, and we're about to watch Heartstopper, Season 1, Episode 7. I was about to say 5. I was so focused on 5. <laughs> Here we go. So we're on to Heartstopper. We're actually moving along really fast. It's a really short show. Interesting to think about that one also, because they seem to pack a lot into it. It's been a pretty entertaining show. Top marks. It's a breath of fresh air to see the, the, the queer community being represented and having it be more normalized in the show. You know, like it's, it's not the survival mode or the defensive mode, you know, or the so many shows have been more leaning towards the drama aspect of all of it. Even the bullying of the show. It, it's not what I'm used to. Very, very light. <laughs> I like that. I like that idea. And I like that this show for that. I really do. <laughs> Let's go ahead and rock this. I'm happy for you. You've liked him for ages. Thanks. The sister seems absent of, of any kind of amplified emotion whatsoever. So is he your boyfriend? <laughs> We're not ready to label it yet. We just, you know. You know. Shut up. <laughs> Your crush on him was super embarrassing. Go away. Uh, nice. <laughs> I like that sister. <laughs> we're not boyfriends. Why would you think we're boyfriends? Oh, I get it. Okay. Yeah. That would scare me too, actually. I hate labels. I hate, I hate... It puts pressure on the whole thing. There's no real need for it. You know, just an open line of communication. If any of those boys says anything, does anything nasty, you just call me, okay? Nick's gonna be there. I'll be fine. What's going on? I forgot what's happening. They all probably think I'm this, like, gay nerd. Well, you kind of are a gay nerd. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna, gonna say. <laughs> like, what's wrong with being a gay nerd? <laughs> Represent that shit. <laughs> I guess he did come. <laughs> Bully, okay. That's interesting after I just got done talking about it. And it just so happens to be that guy. The ex, kind of ex. I'm not really hungry to be honest. You got some though? Sure. There you, you go. Okay? I honestly had no idea they'd be here. I, I would have suggested we come if I'd known. Char? Wow, that just slipped out. Oh my god, say it again. No. Go on. No. Char? I don't know about Char. <laughs> I don't know about that one. Chuck I wouldn't go with either. I think that's the normal one for Charlie, right? <laughs> sorry. Don't be sorry. Ugh. God, that would suck. It's cute. It's cute in a way. There you go. I can understand the fear though. Oh, little pinky. Pinky swears. Dork and a nerd. Match made in heaven. <laughs> oh, they went full, full intertwined. His heart must be racing right now. Doesn't help that he's in a horror movie either. <laughs> Quick question. What's it like being gay? <laughs> it's fine. You don't seem it's that fine. gay to be honest. I mean, you do sound so gay, but that's it. <laughs> Do you like musicals? Harry, can you just piss off, please? What about Nick? You think he's hot? <laughs> Are you joking? Nick's not even my type. See, again, it, this, the, the banter and stuff, I, I, I understand is hurtful in one way. The type of bullying I was more used to, like that noogie that he was about to put him in, that would have been like a full-on headlock. That would have been a choking situation. Where I grew up, when I grew up. So this, you know, I feel like this is his opportunity to be himself and amplify that. And I know that that's scary for a lot of people and it fucking sucks. I don't, I don't expect it, but it is those opportunities that, that where you have a chance to really learn who you are because you literally defend yourself you defend who you are you you are you 100% in front of people and there's no fear or at least there's a willingness to jump as if anyone would ever want to go out with someone as desperate as you oh this fucking guy if you were just there like some tragic loser with barely any friends who ate lunch alone every day and let bullies walk all over you I never liked you you're just fucking I'm not hurt. even gay I just felt really sorry for shut you shut the fuck up 
seems like more than one person's trying to figure it out. <laughs> Does the dad Hello. know? Oh wait, no, he's the openly gay. I'm uh, completely fucking fog brained right there. He doesn't exactly fit in with us. You made him so uncomfortable with your gay questions. Someone really needs to learn to take a joke. No, but you weren't joking though, were you? You just saw the perfect opportunity to make someone feel miserable. Nice job. You're getting oh, so angry. <laughs> you can't help wanting to protect him, can you? Because he's a pathetic little fag. Now he's a dick. Now he's confirmed it as a dick. Yeah. Good job. That looked like a decent fight. That looked like an actual thing. If you like that highlight and you want to see more of me watching this completely unedited, hit that link below, Seven Deadly Bananas on Patreon. Five bucks gets you started. Get in there and start watching TV with me. Boy, oh, little puppies! Nasty stuff about Charlie. He's been really gross and mean about him for ages, and I just... <clears throat> I lost it. I'm just so angry at myself for not seeing that all of my friends suck. <laughs> Oh, I've been through that so many times. I feel like he just repeated something that I've said to myself so many times. <laughs> oh. Under different circumstances, obviously. Yeah. He is. I didn't get that full conversation, but I have a feeling I know where it went. Maybe it's time to say the day after on, on a situation like that is always super awkward, super awkward. He's got some serious anger issues. Do you have a fight? You just can't seem to take a joke anymore. Like, you know I was only joking in the cinema, don't you? Yeah, he starts a fight when I've done nothing wrong. What's going on? You okay? Oh shit. It's fine. Let's just go. Oh, I would love to see him do something. But if you're craving human contact that badly, you could just say so. Tao, just leave it. Everything's <sighs> fine. Nice. <laughs> yeah, maybe listen to your boyfriend. Okay, now he's coming off a little bit more. He doesn't seem that physically threatening though. There's something about him. Like, the bullies I dealt with were like twice my size. <laughs> <laughs> Every fucking time. We're talking like the kid that got held back in school for two years kind of kind of stereotype guy. I'm used to people saying stuff about me. You shouldn't have to be. Right? Uh, Good. People shouldn't be saying stuff about you in the first place. You shouldn't have to put up with anything like that. Sorry. Preach. No. You're not allowed to say the S word. <laughs> They're really cute together. <laughs> I don't even want to be friends with those people. I don't expect you to dump your friends for me. It's not exactly a dumping. It's just a revelation. It's a perception change. Nice. That almost got me. That was cute. Nah, it got me. <laughs> that was cute. That was really cute. I never had anybody stick up for me in school, ever. And the perception change, that's, that's hard. That's hard for anybody. I, I've, goddamn, I've been through so many epiphanies in my life. It's, it, it's kind of tiring, actually, because you reevaluate like everything, not just internalized, but external as well. You start to look at people differently. You start to assess them differently. You start to assess yourself, how you approach, all sorts of random things. But it, you know, it takes time. I can handle it because I can stick up for myself, but Charlie can't. I feel like the wings are now starting to go more forward. <laughs> I mean, right there, yeah, Jesus. They used to go outward. <laughs> Mine never went forward, but he's got like, man, he's got like straight up handlebars. Is there something actually going on between Nick and Charlie? Good Lord. Really? There is, isn't there? I don't see how <laughs> you could not tell though. Come on, man. Bill Snows. Um, Isaac, uh, Tara, and Darcy. But Charlie wants to tell you himself. Well, he said he wanted to tell you himself. I should go. My mom's probably waiting. Tao! He's not thinking of everything. All the shit that he's talked about, the other guy, you know, like, of course Charlie would be hesitant to even let him know, you know? Like, he's even said, don't, don't date him or don't do anything with, like, he's mentioned something like that, right? 
Don't ask those questions. Don't, no, 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 no. These are your own insecurities. There you go. Simple. Always in person. Never do, never do these things over text. You either call or you video chat or you meet in person because the context goes completely out the wall. Like texting is the worst. I'll just say it right now. Texting is the worst because all of it gets filtered in through your own fucking perception. And usually people's perception is pretty bad about themselves. <laughs> Make sure you leave the bedroom door open a tad, okay? <laughs> That's a good mom. <laughs> That's just anger. He's just talking from anger, which is why, again, you don't text. You don't text. Because <laughs> it sounds 10 times worse to him. Oh! He pulled a glee. Too bad it wasn't a slushie. You're gonna regret that. But they're at school. Oh, what's about to happen? Does the scene change means they're actually fighting? <laughs> what is the what was the bottle thing for? Come on, you can get him. There you <laughs> See, that's what happens when you don't know how to fight. I, I would probably be somewhat the same way, I bet you. I've taken like, you know, self-defense or whatnot, but I've never fought. I've never fought a day in my life. I've only attempted to punch twice. Oh, now here we go. That's a real one, though. Tom, this is all your fault. Just leave me alone. Oh, come on. You're going to end it like that? That's lame. That was lame. That was super lame. Although, wings. <laughs> I feel like he did a pretty good job defending himself. <sighs> Fighting is just so pointless. It's, it, uh, it never gets anything done. It usually makes everything worse, you know, and, and particularly more on a personal note. Under these circumstances, within the show, which I still think, even though now it's starting to amplify the bullying and all that stuff, it seems, again, more... <sighs> Maybe not. I don't know. I don't know. I'm speaking from a very specific perspective, I think. And my, my world was not good to gay people, queer people in general. They, they, like, my world when I was young was not good to that community. The, the, the cute, like, you know, resting the head on the thing, on his shoulder, sorry, the thing. And, and then the talk with Charlie afterwards the, the, uh, during lunch. That was a very adult thing to say. I understand having, like, you know, self-consciousnesses and, and, you know, just your, your confidence about the whole thing being diminished and, and all of that stuff. But to move on and say that I am complicating your life and I don't think we're making the right decision because of that. Like, that is probably one of the most adult things I have ever heard. <laughs> amazing, amazing. But at the same time, he's still speaking from that self-conscious aspect, that self-conscious perception. I understand that he's trying to look out for the other guy, but Nick, I mean, he's at least established himself as being pretty truthful and honest with himself, willing to go with that rather than what might be the social norm around him. And now he's He's literally going through perception changes where he's seeing that the environment that he's around doesn't allow him to evolve. It's got to end up good in the end, I feel. Oh, next episode is the last episode too. Shit. Well, I hope it does now. <laughs> if next episode is the last episode, I hope what I said is true. <laughs> that would suck if it starts going dark. All of a sudden, everybody fucking starts doing drugs and having sex with adults and shit. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for watching. I, I, I hope you're enjoying this with me. Uh, we'll see you on the next episode, final episode of the season. And yeah, let's see what happens.